Hello everyone! So, first off, just to get it out of the way, outfit repeater! Yeah, well, it's okay, isn't it? I mean, when I like my outfit, I like my outfit. Whatever, I'll wear it more than once. I have no shame. So you might be wondering, um, why is your Christmas tree still up? It's already January, you should really take that down. Well, normally I would, but huh, I went to take it down and I noticed that there was a present that I missed. <laughs> You guys, I'm kidding. I'm just trying to make a story. Go with me. Oh my goodness, what is this? Santa? You know me so well. By Santa, you know me so well. I mean, wow, Cassie, you know yourself so well. I bought this for myself a while back, and I just haven't gotten around to reviewing it yet. I haven't taken down my Christmas tree yet, and so I figured I would spin that little story to get it. It really makes no difference, but I had made an order from Sephora maybe like a month ago, I don't remember, it really doesn't matter except for the timeline of when, you know, Sephora comes out with Christmassy, holiday-y type things, aka ornament cosmetic things. I didn't buy this for that purpose, I just needed like 10 more dollars in my basket to get the $50 free shipping. These are only 12 bucks. Uh, they are still available on Sephora's website. Bite Beauty, they came out with a bunch of little minis of their matte lip crayons and then also like dual ended lipstick things and then also some mini lip glosses. So I decided to go for this one. It's matte, it's purple, and I'm excited because I've never really tried any Bite Beauty cosmetics before. I've tried one lip gloss that I got in the Meet Your Match. I forget exactly what it's called. I'll link it below. I did a blog post on it a while back. A uh, super cute little set of mini nail polishes and mini lip products. So, you know, I had to get it. But other than that, I haven't tried anything from Bite Beauty. I hear really good things about them. Their cosmetics, as far as I know, are all cruelty-free and whatnot. And also, I believe... Hello. They are vegan, so all of the ingredients used to create the products are food grade. So basically you could eat these and you'd be okay. I mean, I don't think they suggest you eat them, but let's just head on over to Sephora as per usual online and see what they have to say about these lip products. I am just showing you here the actual full-size product. I figured this would be more concise with all of the details being on the actual product that I'm trying out instead of just like the general bite came out with a bunch of these lip things for Christmas. Either way, so this is the Bite Beauty Matte Creme Lip Crayon. The full size retails for $24. The full size is 0.05 ounces. There are 12 different colors available, if I counted correctly. What it is? A collection of lip crayons featuring 12 timeless matte shades with a superior hydration. Thank you! Didn't need to do the counting, but it's a good refresher to remember how to add. What it does, Bite's latest breakthrough formula boasts a collection of beautiful nudes, striking reds, and deep burgundies with a matte yet moist texture. The secret is the moisture-locking power of orange peel wax, along with the antioxidant properties of resveratrol. I have no idea what that is. The colors are water resistant and long wearing. And oh, the resveratrol apparently acts as an antioxidant. Thank you for letting me know. And they don't give me instructions on how to use, so great! I'm hoping that means it's straightforward and is just a normal lip product. Good crack on into this. So excited. So here you go. This is what it looks like. It's just that nice matte, kind of a black, rubberish feeling, soft, smooth packaging. <laughs> cap off. <laughs> and there's the actual product. It's just a normal twist up crayon. You can go up and down with it, which is really nice. And yeah, like I said, that just absolutely looks like my kind of a color. It doesn't smell bad or good. It smells slightly like a crayon and also slightly like vanilla. So my lips look a lot drier than they actually are. I've had on lip balm all morning. I'm excited to smear this on. Let's do it together. Alright, so there it is on my lips. 
lips. Like I said, this is a very me color. I feel like a lot of matte lipsticks are like this, where they've got much more of a satin finish than they do a matte finish, but I mean, who knows, maybe it'll dry down to more of a matte finish as time wears on here. It feels nice and creamy when I rub my lips together, which is great. It does, it definitely feels moisturizing, so that's nice too. So yeah, there we go, you guys. I definitely found application with this to be a little bit difficult purely because of the shape of this. Maybe if I had really thin lips, it wouldn't be as big of a problem. I mean, I don't have the biggest lips ever, but like, you know, I have enough. I guess. I feel like if this were in the traditional lipstick kind of a shape, it would be so much easier to apply. But since it's more in the shape of a pencil or like a crayon, like an actual size of a crayon, it's really hard to like, you know, get it on its side and like fill everything in. I don't know. It's just an awkward size and shape for my personal lips to fill in. But I mean, you know, it worked. It was a little bit tuggy, but I feel like once you kind of start working with it, it warms up and gets a little bit more creamy as you move it around and whatnot. Like I said, it definitely feels very moisturizing. Well, I shouldn't say that very moisturizing, but it feels moisturizing enough where it's very comfortable on my lips right now. I think it looks great. The pigmentation's definitely there, and it's definitely a meat color, so I do like it so far. I'm just gonna get on with my day here, I guess. It is currently 12-12 in the afternoon. The next time you'll see me, my hair is going to look a little bit different. I'm trying out another product. Wish me luck on my hair. We'll see how it goes. I will just check in with you all in a little bit here, as per usual. Maybe before or after I eat next. So, I'll see you then. Bye! This morning, this afternoon, whatever you're gonna want to call it, because you know, my heater is loud, and I was like, God, why is it so cold in my apartment? You know, since I've been back and whatnot, it's because I forgot to turn my heater back on. I've got legit like goosebumps, you can see on the other side. <laughs> it's so cold. Also, elephant in the room, my um, my lipstick. <laughs> oh no, so it definitely does the chin thing, but you know, I'm not the biggest. Fan. Otherwise, I think the fading is decent. I mean, it definitely left a bit of a stain, so I think that helps. It is currently 7.09 p.m. For the sake of the video, I am going to go ahead and reapply here, even though I am not doing anything else tonight, but you know. Such is life when you do first impressions on YouTube. So there it is, reapplied over itself. I know this is kind of silly, but also kind of sort of very relevant. I like that the lid on this is really secure, and like you know when you click it down, it feels very much like it's not gonna go anywhere in your purse. So that is a big plus on the packaging, I do have to say. Oh, and update, I know I said my hair was gonna be really different, right? That was a mishap. Yeah, basically I was sent some hair extensions to try out, and uh, the color that they sent me, <laughs> so wrong. So you'll see that in a video eventually. I'm just gonna get on with it here. I'm gonna take down the Christmas tree and Dance Moms. The new season is on tonight, so I am super excited. Yeah, otherwise, just general, typical hanging out weeknight, week before school starts again. <laughs> kind of a lifestyle, so I will just check in with y'all at the end of the night and see how I'm doing. Anyone with a long-haired cat, you know, you know exactly what this is. This is called winter. Alright, so final check-in of the day. It is currently 11.37 p.m. Just wanted to check on the lipstick, hi. Pretty sure that's Galileo hair on my top lip, just ignore it. 
So you can see it did kind of get a little built up in the inside there, but overall I would say it wore really well. It definitely faded gracefully. I think it's a good lipstick. Do I think I'm gonna buy any more? No, mainly because none of the colors really scream out to me. Like this was the most me color and I kind of sort of already own a few lipsticks that look exactly like this. <laughs> it still feels creamy on my lips. My lips don't feel dry at all, but I also don't think this is an extremely matte finish or anything. I mean, you can see it's definitely got a bit of a sheen to it, so if you're looking for a true matte, I don't think these are what you're gonna want to go for. I don't know that these are really like necessary price wise. I mean, if you go to MAC, you can get a lipstick that's basically this exact same thing. This looks a lot like Rebel. And honestly, I would say the feeling of it, the formula and everything and the wear time definitely feels like satin finish of theirs. So I don't know, I guess it's really gonna be up to your own tastes, what you're looking for in beauty, cosmetics, and whatnot. Yeah, so I don't think there's anything else to really report on lipstick-wise. I just wanted to mention that I finally got a P.O. box! Yay! So many of you ask me on a weekly basis, why don't I have a P.O. box slash can I please get a P.O. box slash most people don't say please, but that's okay, it's the thought that counts. I will put my address, my P.O. box address, you won't find me there unless you magically come at the exact same time and whatnot that I'm there picking up my mail but it will be brief please don't try and catch me <laughs> I don't need things you really you don't have to send me anything I very much appreciate that you want to send me things but you know be smart about it don't send me you know any homemade treats or edibles because I won't eat them I'm sure you're a lovely cook but I watch a lot of TV and so I'm going to be worried that it's it's poisoned. I know some of you have said you want to send me makeup. If you do, like, you don't have to, but if you do, just make sure it's like, you know, sealed and everything so that I'm not worried that you dipped it in some sort of lead poisoning or something and you're trying to kill me. You guys, I worry about these things. I won't be able to like send thank you cards because it will be way too overwhelming for me and I'm a thank you card person so it's gonna like hurt my soul but I want you all to know that I am grateful if you do decide to send me anything even if it's just a little letter that says hi Cassie I like your videos you know like that means the world to me at this point I'm just rambling like said I got a P.O. box and I will also have it listed down below for you. It's a little out of the way for me, but like I didn't want to get one in Boston because all of the reviews and stuff online were like, don't go to any Boston post offices for boxes, blah blah blah, they treat your mail like crap, la la la. And I don't want whatever post office that I choose, I didn't want them treating your lovely gifts and cards as crap because it's not crap to me so I say it all the time but you guys really are the greatest so thank you so much for all of your love and support I appreciate it back to the <laughs> lip product I hope you enjoyed the review I hope it was helpful and until next time just stay well until then bye